Gandalf stepped forward but did not summon his shard blade. Kaladin struck with his spear, but it was futile. He'd used what strength he had to merely remain upright. His spear glanced off Moash's helm, and the former bridgeman slapped the fist down on the weapon, shattering the wood. Kaladin lurched to a stop, but Moash wasn't done. He stepped forward and slammed an armored fist into Kaladin's gut. Kaladin folded as things broke inside of him. Ribs snapped like twigs before that impossibly strong fist. Kaladin sprayed blood across Moash's armor as his friend stepped back, removing his fist. Storms. That was a harder blow than I intended. You did what you had to. Oh, Stormfather. The pain. Now what? We end this. Kill the king with a shard blade. It will still look like the assassin, hopefully. Those blood trails are frustrating. They might make people ask questions. Here, let me cut down these boards so it looks like he came in through the wall like last time. Cold air. Rain. You knew that voice. Sil? Sil? Nothing. I ran until... Until I couldn't any longer, Sil. End of the race. Life before death. I will do it. I will bear this burden. It is my right. Kaladin blinked, eyes resting on the king's unconscious body just beside him, still breathing. I will protect those who cannot protect themselves. It made sense now why he'd had to make this choice. Kaladin rolled to his knees. Graves and Moash were arguing. I have to protect him. Why? If I protect... If I protect... Only the people I like. It means that I don't care about doing what is right. If he did that, he only cared about what was convenient for himself. That isn't protecting. That is selfishness. Kaladin raised one foot, a good foot. He shoved himself upward and stumbled to his feet between Elokar and the assassins. Fingers trembling, he felt at his belt and, after two tries, got his side knife out. He squeezed out tears of pain and through blurry vision saw the two shard bearers looking at him. Moash slowly raised his faceplate, revealing a stunned expression. Storm Father! Cal, how are you still standing? It made sense now. That was why he'd come back. It's about Tien. It's about Dalinar. It's about what's right. But most of all, it's about protecting people. This is the man I want to be. Kaladin moved one foot back, touching his heel to the king, forming a battle stance, then raised his hand before him, knife out. His hand shook like a roof rattling from thunder. He met Moash's eyes. Strength before weakness. You will not have him. Finish this, Moash. Storms, there's no need. Look at him, he can't fight back. Kaladin felt exhausted. At least I stood up. It was the end. The journey had come and gone. He is mine! I claim him! He betrayed his oath. He's seen too much. If he lives this day, he'll betray us. You know my words are true, Moash. Kill him. The knife slipped from Kaladin's fingers. He was too weak to hold it. His arm flopped back to his side, and he stared down at the knife, dazed. I don't care! He will kill you. I'm sorry, Cal. I should have made this quick at the start. The words! Kaladin! You have to speak the words! I forbid this! Your will matters not! You cannot hold me back if he speaks the words! The words, Kaladin! Say them! I will protect even those I hate, so long as it is right. 
a shard blade appeared in Moash's hands. The words are accepted. Stretch forth thy hand! She zipped around him, suddenly visible as a ribbon of light. I can't! Stretch forth thy hand! He reached out a trembling hand. Moash hesitated. Wind blew in the opening in the wall, and Syl's ribbon of light became mist. A form she often took, silver mist, which grew larger, coalesced before Kaladin, extending into his hand. Glowing, brilliant, a shard blade emerged from the mist, vivid blue light shining from swirling patterns along its length. The entire hallway went black as the stormlight and every lamp down the length of the hall winked out. For a moment, they stood in darkness. Then, Kaladin exploded with light. It erupted from his body, making him shine like a blazing white sun in the darkness. Moash backed away, face pale in the white brilliance, throwing up a hand to shade his eyes. Pain evaporated like mist on a hot day. Kaladin's grip firmed upon the glowing shard blade, a weapon beside which those of Graves and Moash looked dull. One after another, shutters burst open up and down the hallway, wind screaming into the corridor. Behind Kaladin, frost crystallized on the ground, growing backward away from him, a glyph formed in the frost, almost in the shape of wings. Graves fell in his haste to get away. Moash backed up, staring at Kaladin. The night's radiant have returned. Too late! Kaladin frowned, then glanced at the king.